And here we go. Next Monday, Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee will lie in state at City Hall from 9 in the morning until 7 at night. The rotunda will be open to everyone, allowing the public to pay their final respects. Jackson Lee will be the second Houstonian to have this honor. Mayor John Whitmire joins us to talk about it. Now, Mayor, you approve this, and this is a big deal. She is only the second one in history to have this honor that you, you guys are bestowing upon her. Certainly, I approved it, and uh, I'll even take credit for uh, proposing it. I worked for 30 years with the Congresswoman in our districts. We uh, worked shoulder to shoulder in constituent services. We had different styles, of course, but uh, I respect her public service. She served in city council, actually. So I thought, how do we, how do we uh, honor her in an appropriate fashion? So I just said, well, you know, in, in Washington, D.C., they allowed someone to lie in state. Mm -hmm. So I thought it would be appropriate, and uh, it really was well-received by her family that we would offer up uh, the opportunity to lie in state in the city hall rotunda. And uh, I'm looking forward to it. It's a great way to pay our respects and honor her public service. And uh, also, Isaiah, to bring Houston together. You mm -hmm. know, we can have disagreements over policy matters and, and uh, positions on issues. But when someone is uh, being respected and honored, we can put our differences aside. Obviously, she was an opponent of mine last year. But it also shows there's a campaign season and there's a season to govern, get along, and unite this city. We do it probably better than any other major city in the United States. During our storms, our challenges, uh, we bring people together. And that's what my administration uh, wants to be known for. Uh, mm -hmm. Put our differences aside, unite the city. Whether you agree, you know, Houstonians, whether you agree with uh, Sheila Jackson Lee on whatever you want to mentioned today is the opportunity to thank her i know what public service does to your family and the time involved yes so, uh, this is my opportunity as a leader of this great city to say let's recognize one of our fellow leaders and uh, honor her public service let her family know that we appreciate their allowing her to be one of our public servants for over 30 years so I think it's appropriate, uh, and I'm I'm looking forward to uh, allowing the city to review her public service and allow her to lie in state in City Hall. And Mayor, for those who who look at your decision to honor her this way, it's almost poetic because you're taking her back to her roots, where she started in public service, the okay. city of Houston, working as a judge, and then making her way to City Council before making it to the national level. Sure. No doubt about it. It's where she needs to be uh, recognized in line state, uh, come back home is mm -hmm. essentially as a public servant, as you said, where it starts. So, uh, you know, uh, we all have uh, lives to lead and uh, we our challenge is to make this world a better place than we found it. She certainly strived to do that. I can't begin to tell you the constituent service that I worked with her on. And um, Sheila was... Uh, was certainly recognized in the community as someone that cared and she crossed all boundaries to represent people. So let's allow her to come back to city hall where she started. It'll give city employees an opportunity to just walk across the street or in this fine building to pay their last respects. I would, I would invite everyone in Houston to consider that certainly keep her family and her in your prayers and let's, uh, Let's take a moment to respect a, uh, a fallen hero. And, Absolutely. Uh, and also once again, rededicate, rededicate our, ourselves to public service. Whether you're, an elected official, whether you're an elected official or not, we're all public servants. Absolutely, Mayor. We appreciate you. And of course, once again, this will be Monday here in the city of Houston, where she will lie in state at the City Hall Rotunda. And of course, it's an honor and idea by Mayor John Whitmire, an effort to unite this city. We appreciate your time, sir, on the Factor on Censor tonight. All right, Isaiah.